prepared to venture on a magnificent odyssey into the realms of science, the business of technology, the marvels of engineering, and the tapestries of art and history across epochs, unfurling the enigmatic secrets of the cosmos. First stop, tech integration. Immerse yourself in the realm of tech integration, where enigmatic digital puzzles are testing your mastery of Delve into mysteries that sharpen your acumen for unraveling the nickname. Next, explore the journey of tech evolution. From the history of computing to the rise of machine learning. Unleash your prowess to unravel, decipher, and unearth the hidden truths within. Finally, ready yourself for the advent of gaining firm. Swift responses, nimble thoughts, and prowess in every realm shall unveil your master. Gear up, explorers, and may the best minds win. Let the adventure begin. Everything is being done to overcome the gravity of Please welcome, you big brain. Right, uh, good noon. That's around about where we are to be precise, and welcome to all of you as we get to the final of an important state. Like I mentioned, I must be honest, we've always had very good teams coming in from Gujarat for this quiz, done well in the national rounds. So when you're getting back on ground, obviously we looked at a tighter set of questions for you. But the average score here, despite what in my opinion was a tougher prelim, is very, very impressive. So I think you need to have a round of applause for all the children out here. I am quite impressed with the quality of answers and the closeness of the final. One mark separates our eight contestants on stage. So it's going to be a really tight final. Some of them have done superbly well with their answers. Hardly anything to choose from. Quick word on the answers. The first one, the bird, was the dodo. The project on the bomb was the Manhattan Project. That was the science name. Alkali was easy. Piranha was easy. Copper was the metal from Chile. Well answered. Those were the easy ones. Uh, you managed your delight from the options I gave you. Greta Thunberg was a problem for a couple of you. You missed out on that. Dragon fruit was easy. Uh, green crackers was a problem for you. Some of you just wrote firecrackers, that's not the answer. The very specific answer on what has been created by uh, the Council for Science and Industrial Research is green crackers. And I told you in context of Diwali. Then Diplodocus was easy. Some of you, of course, got it easily, uh, those of you who made it. Uh, keratin, I think that was workable. Maya, India software created problem. A lot of you ended up writing Bharat, patriotic answer, but Maya is the right one. Mole or Mall was Avogadro's number. That was a good one. Palladium was the right answer. Tetraploid was a tough one, but some of you cracked it. Gallbladder was easy after the many clues I gave. So was dark matter, eucalyptus. Transistor turned out to be a tough one. And the last one was the definition of various stages of a pandemic. The pandemic is what I was talking about in different stages. It gets us straight to our top eight contestants in the final, and I'm moving straight into that. All the eight in random order, 45 minutes from here is my final duration. Qualifying into our final here today as contestant number one. Please put your hands together to welcome into our final eight at Ahmedabad with a round of applause from the new Tulip International School in Ahmedabad, Tanishka Ja will walk up as our first contestant. Neighboring 
Anishka's contestant two from Delhi Public School, Vadodra, is Nilesh. We'll walk into the final as contestant two. Neighboring him as our third finalist from the Anand School at Sanand is Vismay Patel, our third finalist. Contestant four from a consistent school in our quiz here from Delhi Public School, Bhopal, Aryan Deswa, will walk up as our next finalist. <laughs> Neighboring Aryan on my left from the Lalji Manhotra School is Reeve Patel in the final here today. As contestant six, representing the Zaida School from Vijaypur is Anamaya Sharma, our next finalist. As contestant seven, walking into the final here today from the Prakash Higher Secondary School is Prakti Ray. As contestant number seven. Completing our lineup here today as our final contestant is from the Utgam School, uh, Rishabh yeah. Chaudhary. We'll walk into the final. As Rishabh walks on stage, I have two contestants to recognize. They finished ninth and 10th, but I want them to know they were so close to qualifying. So I think we can have a round of applause for them. Uh, Arnav Raj from Pudar International School, where are you? What class are you? Eight standard four. Oh my God, put your hands together. <laughs> he finishes ninth year today. You've got solid four years left in this quiz. Would like to see you on stage next year. All the best. Really well done. One mistake less, he would have been an eighth standard in this final. All right, and finishing tenth year today, just missing. Be seated, uh, Arnav. Finishing 10th was Darya Pandya from the Patel English School. Where are you? Oh, put your hands together for him. Which? Is that the VNC Patel English School? That's correct, yeah. Uh, which class are you? 10th. All right, lovely. Put your hands together for him. He's also got two years to go. Those then are two students who just barely missed. As we're going to get started with this final, one of you will walk into the national final as the champion, the other as a runner-up. Two of you will play the semi-finals in Mumbai. But for now, we get started with the first frontier of our game here today. It's time for tech integration. Here it is. Here we go. Sorry, I'm the culprit. Let me go down. I think that'll avoid the beak on the mics. No. Even here? All right. Not my fault anymore. All right. Tech integration is a... All right. Is a crossword puzzle that's going to play out for all the eight of you on stage. As we trigger the crossword person to come on there, ladies and gentlemen, eight finalists, never easy at a state like Gujarat. Can we have a round of applause for all the eight? And in our final year today, the value of a right answer is 25 points. So you get a plus 25 if you get it right. In the first couple of rounds, there are no buzzers, no negative marking. I'll come to the negatives a little later. All right? So just concentrate on scoring. First round goes clockwise, which means we shall go from, let me slowly start getting familiar with the names. I think that would be Tanishka, and I'll go across to Rishabh. That's Rishabh, okay. And in the second round, I'll go from Rishabh to Tanishka, and after that, we play on the buzzers. Okay? For now, value of 25. Let me open one for the audience. 
Uh, let me do straight up there, two across. Audience. It's a crossword puzzle, so let me give you a clue. I'm a liquid which becomes strongly magnetized in the presence of a magnetic field. I'm used in various engineering applications, including, you know, damping, etc. What liquid? All right, you've got a lot of hands going. Yes, young man. Go on. A ferrofluid is absolutely right. He'll win the first audience prize. Can we do it now or later? And the audience prize now or later? Oh, you're giving it right now. If you could just stand up. All right. Can we have a round of applause for him? Wait, do you want to take a photograph? Yeah? Hold on, hold on. Nice. Okay. Contestant one, which is uh, Tanishka, you can choose to play three down or you can choose to play four down, which means you know the starting letter. But if you want to play ten across or you want to play eight across, that's your call. You choose the number, I give you the clue, 25 if you get it right, otherwise it passes clockwise. Starting with you, what's your choice? Four down. Four down. She wants to use the starting letter of a D. Gary Kasparov lost to me. I am a great chess player. Who am I if I'm four down? Audience, put your hands down. Please, it's a software. I can't change the questions. I know it can be exciting out here. Put your hands down, please. Yes, five seconds of time for you. Tanishka. I am a quote-unquote chess player. The great Gary Kasparov lost to me. Who am I in the world of technology? Passing you, Nilesh. It's deep blue. Confident from Vadodara, he opens the scorecard today. He gets a 25 on that on table number two. He also got a AI powered scorecard this time, so we've used technology to have a live counter, and that tells you where everyone stands at any given point in time. As we go to you, Nilesh, what do you want to play? You've got many openings now. I'll go with seven across. Starting with a B is what he wants to play. This organization says we are atoms in the service of the nation. Which organization? BARC. Can you expand that for me if you know it? Baba Atomic Research Center. Outstanding. Oh, put your hands together! of an answer. He is well prepared. He knows what he's talking. He's reached 50 all the way from Vadodara. You wouldn't travel if you didn't mean business. As we go to our third contender, Vismay, what's your choice? Five. Five across for you. This was originally called Project Back Rub. The reason it was called Project Backrub is because the whole concept was to have backlinks. Hence, it was called Backrub. How do we know it today? Yes. Going across to Aryan, I think. Yes. Pass. You choose to pass. Reeve? Google. Clever 25. Google's original name was Project Backrub. Because you basically try to pick back links of websites and throw it up as results. He got a 25 on table number 5. Question going now to Arna, sorry, Aryan. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, Aryan. What's your choice? Eight across. Eight across. Oh, three letters can be tricky. Okay, here's your question. First found in 1947 on the Harvard Mark II system. It got its name from there. Three letters. First ever spotted or found in 1947 on the Harvard Mark II. Ever since it's been around. I'll try. Oh, well. Reef? Can you please repeat the question? Been around since 1947, first found on the Harvard Mark II. Passing you, moving from Reeve to Anamaya. 
passing you as well to Prapti. Choose to pass. All right, Rishabh. Yeah, but, go on. Bug. Spell that for me. B U G. A computer bug or a software bug. Put your hands together. Well, well played. Bob will give him a 25 on table number eight. As we go to table number five to make his choice, Reef. The right side of it is getting filled. You've still got a three down and the rest are blind. Three down. He chooses to play with the option. Your clue, National Science Day in India. Crosswords. Something in science which will lead you to National Science Day in India. Not trying. Pass. Oh, this is a word in silence, please, guys, girls. Yes. Three pass. down for you. You choose to pass, Anamaya. Prapti. Is it Raman effect? The Raman effect. Raman's birthday is celebrated as National Science Day. He created the Raman effect. Clever thinking girl put your hands Very, very well answered. That was a good one. And that gives a 25 on Raman effect. As we go to our next contender, which is Anamaya. Six across. Six across is what Anamaya chooses to play. Here is your clue on six across. Here we go. Historic event during World War II took place on June 6th, 1944. The operation was codenamed Overlord. To this day, disasters are referred to by this code or name. What are they called? Could you repeat it once? World War II historic event took place on June 6th, 1944 essentially on the beaches of France. The operation was codenamed Overlord, but even to this day, especially in the world of technology, etc., anything disastrous is referred to by this term. Crosswords will throw such options. Five seconds. Pass. Choose to pass. The girl seems good on science. Prapti. Huge historic event, World War II, 1944. Beaches of France. What do we call it? Catastrophic events. Passing you to Risha. Pass. Across to Tanishka. Pass. Nilesh. D-Day. Sorry? D-Day. D-Day. Days of disaster. Beautifully played. He is looking really strong. Every time it comes to him, he's nailing it. He's moved to 75 very quickly in the first round of the game. As we move to Prapti, what's your choice? She's got a 10, 9, and then a 1 on blind. 10 across. 10 across, all right? Clue for you on 10 across. Here we go. July 2003. Martin and Mark started this company. It's obviously something that I'm not telling you. Martin and Mark started this company in July of 2003. So is it Tesla? Oh, clever. Quick and fast, she's got a 25 on that Tesla. Elon Musk, the name that I masked, and she moves to 50. As we go to our last contender on the crossword, Rishabh, what do you want to play? You want to play a nine, or you want to play a blind? Nine across. Nine across. He chooses the option with the letter on nine across. It's an observation in electronics that states that the number of transistors on a microchip doubles once every two years. Though, the cost of computers become half once every two years. What is this that I am describing? It's an observation or a theory 
which takes the number of transistors on a microchip double approximately every two years. The cost of computers though gets halved as we move across to Tanishka. To the young man from Vadodra, Nilesh. More slow. Sometimes in life, nothing goes wrong. He is really good. He's going to be tough to beat 25 again. Moore's Law takes him to 100 as the crossword keeps appearing one after the other on your screen. But this young man traveling all the way from Vadodara seems to have totally different plans here today. He's being really sharp with the answers. As we move out of the crossword to the second frontier of our game, it's time to move to the second round of this superb final, a Gujarat final unfolding in front of you. Round two called Tech Evolution. Here it is. Let's go anti-clockwise, which means I'm going to go exactly on the reverse order. We'll start with Rishabh. You're going to get multiple topics on your screen. You can choose your subject. I'll ask you a question on that. The second team can't repeat the same subject, so watch it. 25 the value, anti-clockwise are passing. Go ahead, Risha. Logos. He wants to start with logos. That's his choice. Here we go. This logo has an arrow that looks like a smile. The arrow connects the letters A to C or Z. Which brand are we talking about? Amazon. Lucky on his choice, he get a 25. All right, that was easy. As we go to our second contender, anti-clockwise, she got the Raman effect right. Let's see what she chooses in this round. So inventions. Inventions. She's sticking on a borderline of science. Seems to be her area of interest. Inventions. Here we go. On inventions. What do we get on inventions or innovations? Here we go. This is also known as additive manufacturing. What is being shown to you which is a modern phenomenon? Is it an assembly line production? Modern. Assembly line will take you back to Henry Ford, passing you. Is it 3D printing? Oh, superb. Very, very good answer. A diagrammatic representation of the process of 3D printing gets him on the scorecard. And that is Anamaya. He will take his choice of subject now. Scientist. Is his choice on your screen? Here we go. From electricity to the bicycle dynamo, I am your scientist of choice. Who am I? That's the AI generated impression of this scientist with all his inventions. Not trying? No negative marks, so you might as well say something. Is it Rutherford? Ford? Passing you. Reeve? Pass. Aryan? Michael Faraday? Lovely. Put your hands together for him. Faraday it is. Faraday will give him a 25. Scoreboards beginning to become even across contestants. That's interesting. Reeve, you want to take your pick? Company origins. Company origin. Nice choice. Okay. He's taking history. This was an extremely important moment in the history of Germany in 1937. It is believed the Nazis played an important role in this design. Which car company came into existence? It was meant to be one of the early days when design was paid a lot of importance to. Volkswagen. Lovely. Oh, lovely answer. Well thought out, well answered. He's good when he knows his answers. He's moved to 50 as well as we get across to Aryan on the other side. Your preference. All right. Sticks to core software and hardware. There's a scientist and a creator. 
The creator is Emil Nicholas. All you've got to tell me is the name of the language. Obviously, I can't tell you the name of the scientist, because that's the answer. Famous programming language named after a great scientist. Are you? No? Programming language. Passing you. Where's my? He's also not trying. Moving across, Nilesh, he's waiting. I guess, but uh, I guess Newton, not Newton, I know it still. He's given the answer and told me that he's wrong. Passing you. Well, go on. Scientist across on the other side. Rishabh. Pass. Prapti. Nicholas Emil, Emil Nicholas, and a famous scientist. It's a programming language, software, named after the scientist, is what I said. Five seconds. No? Going across to Anamaya. Is it Pascal? Lovely. Oh, what a miss by the others. Pascal is extremely easy when you hear the answer, but on stage it became complicated. As we go to our next contender, go ahead, Wisma, what do you want to play? Space, all right, here we go. This is Isro, which successfully completed the third and final creation of what is called the reusable launch vehicle landing equipment. This was June of 2023. What's the name of this vehicle? It's a reusable launch vehicle, which is an experiment. That's why RLV, which is reusable launch vehicle. Tough one if you don't know, but you can try. Yes? Garut. Garut. Passing you on Garut. Garut is a project by Isro. Uh, pass. Across. Daganyan. Going across. Wait, I'll come to you. Pass. Going across to Anand. Anamaya. Prithvi. Across. Varun. On the other side, Pass. and uh, last with uh, Vismay. That was your question, Vismay? Okay, here we go. Right on my right, the young boy says, Pushpak, which school are you? Put your hands together for him. He's absolutely right. Pushpak. I'm really happy, you know, young Gujarat knows all these really nice, very high quality of contestants here. I think it's also because we've allowed the schools to pick you all and send you here. I think the quality is reflecting in that choice. Go ahead. What's your choice, uh, Nilesh? I'll go with engineering. You want to go with engineering. Here we go. This is an engineering term that refers to a beam that's anchored only on one end. Normally, you would find these used in construction of bridges, buildings, etc. What is this? It's actually physics, in a sense. But as you grow older, it will become civil engineering for you. Cantilever? Lovely. Oh, that's a good one at his age to answer. Cantilever from Vadodara, this young boy is creating problems in Ahmedabad. On 125, he's looking really sharp and fast. As we go to the final choice, young lady, gaming or mixed bag? I am so surprised. It probably is the first city where gaming doesn't get chosen. All right, mixed bag. October 21st, which is very close, celebrates the deficiency of something, especially in children. What are we celebrating to promote awareness about? Especially for youngsters, for alertness, this ingredient is very, very important. 
It's Dash Day. What are we celebrating? Iodine. Lovely. Very, very well answered. World Iodine Awareness Day. Some call it Deficiency Day. It's technically awareness. The quiz now moves on to the buzzers, which means the pace of the game will change. We'll take a look at the leaderboard. It tells the following story. The quiz will not take more than 10 to 12 minutes from here, given the pace of the buzzers. Delhi Public School, Vadodara on 125, a whole host of them on 50, and then the two of them on 25. As we move to the third frontier of our game, extended reality, here it is. extended reality you basically will get a clue or a question on your screen and as an extension of that reality you would get a few boxes on your screen which will help you to arrive at the overall answer plus 25 if you get it right minus 25 if you get it wrong all of you can play it on the buzzer it's common to all of you but one attempt on the buzzer plus 25 minus 25 there's a buzzer counter right in the center so all you've got to do is to press your buzzer and we'll know who has pressed. All buzzers are tested, we have? Yep, all right. So we get on to the first question. All hands on the buzzer. Question appearing on your screen. Here we go. Someone's gone for it on table number one. She's gone for it quickly. What is the missing word? YOLO. Oh. She'll get a minus 25 if that is wrong. Is that your final answer? I need a quick answer from you. Your loop will not fit because E comes in that position. Minus 25. Anyone in the audience? Yes? Stapes, absolutely, or staples is absolutely right. She get a minus 25, you'll get your prize. So, <coughs> as we go to the next one, hands on the buzzer, question appearing on your screen now. Someone's gone for it on table number two, he's fast. Wait, wait, wait. Not for you, it's for them. He's got it absolutely right, he gets another 25. And we go to the third question in this round four and all on your screen now. Someone's gone for it on table number five, super fast. Charles Darwin. Clever and fast. Oh, the buzzers are really being played fast. It's quick science and technology. As we go to the last one now. Someone's gone for it on table number three. Yes, young man. No value. I want an answer based on the grid there. I've got options for you. Alfred Nobel. Plus 25. In a hurry, he just saw NO and said Nobelium, which is not wrong, but I wanted it to fit with what I was looking for. Just about everyone on that scorecard, the young girl taking a negative, otherwise she would have been on that as well. The battle's going to get tight, and why do I make that comment? Let's not forget, two students from here will go into the national semi-final. So even if they're going to make a calculation on stage and say, all right, Nilesh seems to be playing really well, the second spot going into the national semi-final is going to be crucial. As we move to the next round, we'll know how it unfolds. Block the chain coming up now. Chain, you're going to get multiple clues on your screen. It's lateral thinking in reality. So all you've got to do is to arrive at the overall answer, which is to block the chain of thought. Plus 25, minus 25, four questions, starting with the first one on your screen now. All of this will lead you to an important construction in this world. Superb engineering marvel. Even the Tour de France uses this path for a brief bit. What great construction in the world is this? So that gives you a geographic location. Team number five, go ahead, he's giving it a shot, is uh, Reeve. English Channel. The construction of the English Channel. 
Modern quizzing is not about just knowing, it's about putting things together. Put your hands together. <laughs> Wonderful! He moves to a hundred, slowly beginning to inch ahead of the rest. Is that going to be good enough? But he's still on a hundred, the others are on fifty, so that's not too far from comfort. As we go to the next one, hands on the buzzer, here we go. All of this will lead you to a famous gentleman who... Oh, he's stopping me again. Steve Jobs. Explain that. Uh, he created the company Pixar, which has created the Toy Story. And he also created the company Next. Uh, would you know what the Emerson Collective was in his life? No, I don't have an uh, idea about that. Okay. He was also the man who loved calligraphy which is why we today actually have options of fonts and it's because of Steve Jobs but beautiful thinking skills plus 25 again <laughs> suddenly Reem is beginning to challenge Nilesh one more answer and we've got a battle on even for the first space he's suddenly moving away into the second spot very quickly with some confident kids as we go to the third one on screen now Your answer is a location. Your answer is a location. Someone's gone for it. Contestant number six. Go ahead, Anamaya. The International Space Station. Clever. Oh, beautifully answered. Da Vinci is a location there. All of this will lead you to ISS. The Leonardo multi-purpose vehicle is the module that takes you there. Beautifully answered. I'm honestly very, very impressed with Gujarat today. Superb answers. Hardly anything going unanswered. Last one on screen now. Oh, quick on the buzzer on contestant three, Vismay. All of this will lead you to a brand. Into your mic, please. Lenovo. Lenovo. Will get, what do you say, Lenovo? I, I had a tablet which had that opening screen. You had, a <laughs> you had a tablet that had that opening screen. Cool answer. Put your hands together for it. Plus 50. Lovely. That's... That's one of the coolest answers I've received in a quiz. I mean, that's nice. All right. Let's take a look at the leaderboard here today. This game is getting tight. I'll tell you why. Suddenly, everyone seems to be comfortable and they're hitting the buzzers. We've got, oh, we've got Delhi Public School, Vadodara on 150. Lalji Merotra Alliance School on 125. So that's a clear battle. But on 75, we've got Zaydis, which is Anamaya. And if he gets one more good hit, he's going to be in striking distance. The final four questions of this game here today. It's time to gain firmly. Here it is. So, so you've got AI, you've got ML, you've got all of that coming in in the final round. Four questions that I will read out to you. Nothing appears on your screen, so pay attention to what I have to read out. Plus 25 if you get it right, minus 25 if you get it wrong. Listen to the rules very carefully. Two attempts are allowed on every question. So if you're leading the quiz at this stage, you can't voluntarily take negatives and block the others. So a second attempt is allowed for the remaining seven contestants. So if someone presses the buzzer and gets it wrong, you can't make the second attempt to the question yourself. The value still is plus 25, minus 25. While I'm reading the question, if you press the buzzer, I stop reading the question because you are indicating to me that you know the answer. So I stop reading the moment you press the buzzer. Clear on the rules? If you get it wrong, I continue reading the question for the benefit of the remaining seven. May the best two qualify from here. It's a super tight final. I don't think, I think we're now in city number seven or eight out of 12. 
I don't think we've seen a scoreboard across India where so many contestants have scored on stage. Super! Very, very high quality. Yes, we've got Kolkata left. Yes, we've got some big cities in this quiz left. We've got Delhi left. But even if I make a fair comparison to cities like Mumbai, Bangalore, and Hyderabad, which are very good at IT, Gujarat, you have been superb today. Really superb. Final round will determine which two go through. We've had one young man looking solid. Maybe he's already making his calculations and saying, can I really finish third from here? Nilesh is playing a waiting game suddenly, while the aggressive moves have started coming in from Reeve. Let's see what happens. Final round, question one. Two attempts allowed. Hear me out. Here we go. This company in 2021 became the first in the world to achieve a milestone by sending the first all civilian crew into space orbit. On table number two, he's gone for it as Nilesh. He's taking the risk. Blue origin. Blue origin will give you a minus 25. Just what he did not want. Continue. Oh, table number six. This time it's Anamaya. SpaceX. He needs a 25 to start putting pressure. He gets a 25. Oh, 100, 125. The game is suddenly different. It's the negative that Nilesh did not want. And he just gave that away on 150. Could have waited one question, could have waited two questions, but all of that is history now. Question number two. As of 2024, this specific version of an AI model by OpenAI is widely recognized for its advanced capabilities in natural language processing. Table number six, Anamaya again. Chat GPT-4. Chat GPT-4. He needs a 25. He gets a 25. Oh, what a final. What a final. I think you guys in Gujarat are now too used to these T20 matches that you all play so well. I think you're just replicating that in a quiz now. All right. Suddenly, it's like an old, familiar Gujarat battle of a T20 game. Three of them on 125. Oh my God. Suddenly, the pressure equation will build. Two questions remaining. Here we go. Connect the following to a specific type of profession. Script kitty, white, black, gray, green, red, and blue being colors of hats. He's gone for it on table number two. He's taking the risk again, is Nilesh. Uh, computer hacking. Computer what? Hacking. Hacking, yes. explain. Uh, script kitty is a, a, pro, a platform where people get the uh, hacking software and stuff. Okay. Uh, while uh, uh, black, uh, black, gray, green, gray, blue. They're all types of hackers. Nilesh. Plus 25! Oh, what an answer! What an answer! He needed courage to go for it. He went for it. From Delhi Public School, Vadodara, he's back to where he originally was, but he had to put a huge effort to get back to where he originally was. But super! Never wait for an outcome. Do it yourself. I think it's going to be a battle between table 5 and table 6. Final question. I put it in the language you'll understand well. One ball to go, the scores are safe. Well, who's going to win this T20 match? Question, final one. Well, the funny part will be if Nilesh hits the buzzer and takes a minus 25. He's smiling. He says, I am not your dodo today. <laughs> All right. Final question. Hands on the buzzer. Audience silence, please. Audience audience, please. Guys, you owe them that silence. It became widely known in North America when it revolutionized the PC industry in 2007 with its ePC 
EPC, that's triple EPC, Republic of Gamers, as a specific brand offering for youngsters. Which famous, oh, on table number three, did I miss some progress? No, okay. Asus? Asus, from the world of Pegasus. Plus 25. He'll redeem himself with a 25 and that puts the pressure right on to these two people because they were looking at, okay, which of us is going to press the buzzer and uh, there comes a youngster, Wismine, who says, I don't care, I know the answer, I'm going to hit the buzzer. Perfectly fine. He finishes with 75 and it leaves us on a tiebreaker between Reeve and Anamaya. Can we have an applause for both of them, please? <laughs> Lovely. It's nice to see both of them say all the best to each other. That's, that's more important. I think, you know, they deserve an applause for just what they do on stage. Super. That's, that's what you want. It doesn't matter whether you win, you don't win. At the end of the day, you need to have that friendship and respect for each other's talent. Proud of what both of you did. But I can take only one of you to Mumbai. All right? Question only for the two of you. Whoever gets it right goes to Mumbai. The other hopefully comes back next year. I don't know. Any of you class 12? Neither are class 12, so you've got a chance. Question. FC Barcelona is a very famous club. Everybody knows that. And they charge a bombshell for sponsorships. One particular company tied a sponsorship deal with Barcelona FC and said, we don't want to put our logo on your shirt. Instead, we want to put it somewhere else. Every time a goal was shot, the logo was displayed. Buzzers, please, he's giving it a shot. Explain. Basically, they had that advertisement where they wanted to do that advertisement where they put the Intel logo on the underside of the shirt. So whenever they it's not on the shirt, but on the underside. underside of the shirt, and whenever the Barcelona players shot a goal, they put it up. And basically, it symbolizes how Intel is present, always present inside a computer instead of outside. So, the wonder behind the advertising was you don't put it on the T-shirt, you put it inside the T-shirt because it's Intel inside. And it also helps them stand out from other logos. There are 10 logos on the pink jersey anyway. Reeves' expression explains he'll be a good quiz master one day because I think he knows what the outcome is. But can we have a round of applause for Anamaya and Reeves? What a fight! Put your hands together for both of them. Super! But at the end of the day, what an answer and what a comeback by Anamaya. Guys, girls, please understand. Guys, two minutes, please. No, don't walk off. Two, three minutes, we are done. We've got a chief guest who needs to leave. She's waiting patiently, so let's be fair. All right? No one's going to walk off till she leaves. Friends, it required an answer that required thinking. It's not a normal recall question, and that's the objective of a quiz like this. And the learning from today's quiz is never, ever give up in life. It looked like a battle between those two, but Anamaya said, Hey, big brain, you've discounted me, I've not discounted myself. Hats off to that tenacity to not give up. Superbly played, forced a tiebreaker, hit back from 75, squared level at 125. Yes, it is a hard pill to chew for Reed Patel today. He's played brilliantly. What class are you? 10 standard. Well, you've got a long way to go. You've got two more years to battle. But he knew he was really close. Actually, sir, the Republic of Gamers question, I knew it was Asus. And you just... I, I was the second one to press the buzzer, that's why. Well, that is life sometimes. You learn in life. While you're in school, it happens in a quiz where you are the second to buzz. As you grow in life, it happens on certain days called Valentine's Day. Don't worry. <laughs> okay? Just be calm, life will be fine. Don't worry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for us to move on into our prize distribution on such an outstanding final. I'm going to make an honest comment. I, I don't stick my neck out like this. In all the excitement of the way the 
brother opposition unfolded, let's not forget a very confident, well-prepared performance by Nilesh. Put your hands together for him. He was solid. He stood like a rock where he was. He got his answers right. I just get a feeling I could be wrong. I think he just went a little slow on a couple of questions, not wanting to. He's nodding his head. He could have probably scored more. Sometimes in life, you've got to hedge and not allow it to go to the end. But as rock solid as someone like a Rahul Dravid would probably be, he just played it to perfection here today. He'll be happy he made it to the final because he got himself a little bit of bother. But let's not forget his credible performance here today. As we move straight into our prize distribution, and it's a pleasure to have with us, uh, and let me start with introducing our host and then call our illustrious guest. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our host here today is someone who's extremely passionate about knowledge. It's one of those states where we do both the quizzes, which is the TCS quiz for the urban students and for the rural students, because she's always believed knowledge is not about the cities alone. It's about schools which are everywhere in our country. It's also the state where we do two Tata crucibles. We do one normally in Anand, we do one in Ahmedabad. So it's a very big city for the Tatas when it comes to quizzing, simply because of the knowledge that you get here and the kind of students that you get here. It's a fascinating state for us. She's been one advocate of such programs where you learn outside your classroom and you learn outside of the syllabus. She's got three decades of experience in technology. She's an alumnus of a wonderful quizzing institute, IIT Mumbai. And she's certainly someone who loves and believes in growth. She's grown the Gujarat Center to over 11,000 people at TCS. It's our pleasure and privilege to introduce to you the delivery center head of TCS Ahmedabad, Ms. Namrata. Thank you so much. And ma'am, if you can join us on stage, we welcome our chief guest. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in the current position that she holds, she'll be happy looking at these youngsters that the future is safe. She is a, how do I put it? She's a civil engineer by training. I think she's a teacher at heart. She's always probably been that as I was reading her profile. She's an author. She has three patents to her name. She's produced 10 PhDs to our country. She's won numerous awards, which I do not want to get into. But most importantly, for a lot of you youngsters and your aspirations in the future, she's the Vice Chancellor of GTU, the premier university from this region. It's our pleasure and privilege to present before you Dr. Rajul Kaja. Please join us on stage. Thank you so much for your time. Before I call the top two, let's first welcome you with a small token. Thank you so much for taking. Can we have a round of applause? Can you just help her with that? Yeah. Ma'am, before I call the two to receive their prizes from you, this is very representative of a young India. High on knowledge, high on ambitions, fast. How does it make you feel as a teacher? Let me put it that way. First of all, very proud, very happy. I'm going to talk about the basics, you know, like where it touches my heart and uh, it really, really gives me uh, a great hope, a great incentive that, yes, India has arrived. Thank you. So beautifully put. Namrata ma'am, you've seen the whole spectrum over the last decade, but suddenly today's youngsters seem so much more daring so much more wanting to achieve. I think one can feel that and we see that with different generations. How does it make you feel? It's extremely good to see the type of energy that the students are showing, uh, the curiosity that they have because the type of questions that they correlated things and brought answers to, I was very slow. So I can understand they're processing information much faster, they're retaining it much faster. The curiosity is going to take them places and the critical thinking is what is needed. So even while technology is taking the storm with the AI and everything, these minds will outperform the Gen AI and show us a better transformation in the world. So well put. These are minds that will outperform a Gen AI. That's a good quote. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in that battle royal of Gujarat,
Gujarat finishing runner-up here today. Put your hands together to welcome Reeve. No, did we miss that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, Anamaya Sharma, the Zydus School, will finish runner-up and he'll remember today for a long time in his life. He deserves a thunderous applause from all of us. Put your hands together. Let's help him one at a time because that's a heavy trophy. All right, if you could just come in between. Put your hands together for him. Well done. All right, I think he can manage that. Yeah, and we'll give him the tiny one. All right, let me help you with the cert. And if you could just take this tiny one, ma'am. Yeah, just keep that carefully. That's for you. That's like the miniature of the trophy. That's for the school. So, the students used to complain that they don't get anything. So we created a miniature this year. That's, that's for you to negotiate with your principal. That's not for us to get involved in. Yeah, this is for you. The principal will willingly allow you to keep this. Yeah, that I doubt. Anyway, well done, young man. Congratulations. Maybe you can keep that if you win a similar one in Mumbai. Then you've got two to trade with your principal. So aim higher. But ladies and gentlemen, traveling all the way from Vadodara, you don't do that unless you see yourself having a chance. That is passion. Despite the rains we've been having, etc., coming in all the way from Vadodara to be part of this quiz, playing in an absolute clinical fashion, our champion for the 2024 edition of TCS Inquisitive at Gujarat from DPS Vadodara, Nilesh NS. We have to get up. Well done. He's not new to this terrain, he's a good quizzer, but to put it together on that day is important and he's done that. Come on, let's keep the applause going for him. Two of them will now represent Gujarat in the nationals. Right. Have a small one. It's careful. That's for keeps. Can I request Anamaya to join as well so we have a media photograph? You can leave the checks, just bring the big trophies. Yeah, just give that back to him. I'll hold this for you. I'll keep it on your table. <coughs> Not safe. Okay, I'll leave this with you all. Just, just keep it down. Yeah, just join in. Right, since we have a really illustrious guest, can I request all the eight to come so you can get a photograph with ma'am today? Come, come, all of you. Two minutes, guys. I will not take more than that. Just come, join in. No, no, I'll go back. You come in front. It's your photograph. Ladies and gentlemen, can we hear it for our guest of honor? Thank you so much. Yeah, just be on stage, guys. You need to give you your certificates. We'll do that once the chief guest. Guys, two minutes, ladies and gentlemen. We'll allow the chief guest to leave and then we'll follow her. Please. Ten seconds of time. Thank you so much, ma'am. Can one of you volunteers accompany her? Thank you, ma'am. Careful. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a round of applause for our guest of honor? Thank you so much, ma'am. Truly appreciate the time you took out. We here between two meetings, actually. 
She had a meeting, she had to rush back to another meeting. She did not want to miss a school event. It's really something we appreciate. It's really nice. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. And ladies and gentlemen, to each and every one of you and the teachers, parents, who have accompanied the children from me, pick brain, from all of us here at Tata Consultancy Services, truly, truly appreciate the effort to bring in these children, otherwise their horizons don't change. We sometimes keep them confined to their curriculum. It's important to explore beyond. On that note, I sincerely hope you enjoyed a morning which I hope was well spent. Wish these two luck as they will represent your state in the national rounds. Till we meet again, from me, Big Brain, good afternoon and goodbye. Thanks for joining us.